Today I'm going to share with you a trip to some of our local Goodwills. My name's Dustin and Jessica is my wife. She's along with me here on this first trip, as you can see right there. Most of the stuff I grab in this trip I actually put back. This Crasher Mini JLab speaker actually has a pretty terrible sell through, so I did end up putting that back along with this racket here. However, I do grab this house playset deal and we ended up selling this on whatnot and we really didn't make anything on this particular sale. And it's the only thing that we actually end up buying, but that's okay because you know, we did move it and we made money on other things from that sale. So no big deal. And this is the same store, different day. And here I am grabbing this doll here. It comps for maybe around the $50 shipped price point. And I think I paid five or six ninety nine dollars for it. Then I did grab this Briar puzzle here, which I think we've sold. I'm going to put up a comp on the screen if we did. And then uh, going back to the new stock carts again, I do buy this Playmobil nativity scene, which we've sold for like 40 bucks, I want to say. And then I do have that projector there that we picked up as well. And this is really cool. I found this Seth Thomas metronome. It's a wood metronome. And we ended up getting $50 for it and we paid $4.99. So that ended up being a very solid flip right there. And you've probably seen this space heater in our barn if you're familiar with our channel, especially our second channel. And this is a fireplace space heater that we picked up at this Goodwill for $34.99. These things can get wildly expensive. So to be able to pick up a cool fireplace space heater like this at a discount is pretty awesome. So I was glad for that. At another thrift shop, we ended up getting this Nike fleece here. I'm going to guess the value around this one being around $30, guys. So we paid five. So pretty decent. I don't know what happened to it. Either it's in the pile to get listed or we're going to put it on a whatnot show. So I don't know if it's going to be on eBay or whatnot, but it will be up for grabs eventually to the public. And this is the store where it really hits off guys. If you like retro toys, nostalgia, that kind of stuff, you're, you're going to be happy with this. And I'm not going to put up comps for everything just yet because I actually uh, find a mystery box here and we do an unboxing of it in just a second. But as you can see, I've already grabbed Kenner Star Wars figures. I've picked up an Iron Maiden pool cue. I do end up putting back this Star Trek Pez. I kind of wanted it for myself, but I think they had it marked at like $14.99 or $19.99. So I did end up having to put that back. I do grab the Kiss here, which I will share the comp with you for that. We sold it for $25 ship and paid $4.99. So we made a little bit of money when it came to selling that but like nothing too insane. They had a ton of cards here. I did spend a lot of time actually looking through the cards, guys, and I didn't see anything that stood out to me. There's other things I'll be putting in the cart during this trip that I do put back, including that presidential Pez set right there. I didn't notice that this was actually signed, but I don't believe his signature goes for a ton of money on cards and stuff. And that was just on the box that he happened to be on. But it is super cool that it was signed. I noticed that while editing. And this is filled with Schleich Smurfs. And I'm gonna put them all out on the table for you to check out and give you some comps on those later as well. That was a blood pressure cuff. I believe I put, yeah, I do put that one back. And this is a Fitbit. Normally a Fitbit in a box like this at $9.99 I, I would grab. I believe this is the Charge 2. And this one's not comping for what you think it would. I think it's like in the $20, $25 range shipped. Which means I really can't pay the $9.99 for it. I don't know. It seems like it's one that I would normally buy. But looking it up, it doesn't. Uh, the comps don't seem to fit. But another stock cart came out, guys, the one that you see in the thumbnail there. And that is, uh, it's got Star Wars on the side. So it says $49.99. I end up buying it, guys. And I think you're going to be pretty excited for what I find in it. And yeah, I end up uh, passing on the Wii there. All right, guys. So what did I actually get for our, like $130? 
which is a pretty hefty Goodwill tab. So I did think this was pretty cool. I was almost not going to pick it up just because it was 40, but I think I'm gonna take the plunge on it with the sole comps and everything. This is actually uh, Iron Maiden pool stick here, and it is oh. uh, from 2004. That's not what I thought was gonna be in that package. And then, Yoshbia Iron Maiden pool shark, <laughs> which is pretty cool. The little wrap here is neat. And then there's like, um, that's not the Eddie guy. That's somebody else, uh, I think. I'm not 100% sure on I. Well, I know Eddie from Iron Maiden. You guys are friends. Well, the skeleton guy. <laughs> we are friends. I picked up these uh, piss dispensers. The reason I'm doing a recap here, guys, is I know you probably didn't see everything in the third footage, especially like this box and these bags, but we got this for five bucks. I'm hoping to get like 25 for it shipped, so it won't be a crazy come up. This was $12.99, but, and I mean, I'm not an expert expert, but I recognize a Kenner Star Wars figure when I see one. And we're gonna have to throw some comps on the screen. Little tiny Mike Piazza bobblehead there too from Post Serial. So that was in there. Wow. But we ended up with four Kenner figs. You've got the snow trooper here. Uh, guy from the cantina scene, alien. <laughs> uh, from uh, Hoth. And wanna be Greedo, but not Greedo. Oh. I don't know who that is. Who is the hat? We'll find out. Yeah, look uh, real carefully for me so I can see this. Uh, but yeah, that's what we ended up getting there. Got some Kenner figs. Took a little bit of a gamble there, like what, four bucks a piece? A little over. This is what I think was really interesting. We ended up with uh, these for $9.99. Uh, did pay up on them, but the Schleich, Smurfs here, vintage like Smurfs should get the money back, like into profit. I don't know, maybe, I don't know how much this lot will go for, but it should be pretty good. Oh, that's like a turkey. He's got a turkey. Yeah, and then you got a little Band-Aid Fum guy here. I don't know about the other ones. This is just a little Arby's uh, toy there that you got. I don't know, it was a Sekiguchi 1979. That's pretty interesting. And so there were some cool ones. I just thought the Smurfs like there would be worth taking the plunge at $9.99. I love vintage toys and stuff. I mean, it's I'm not like as big as some people are into them. Like I definitely have like a old school retro Nintendo thing going on in my brain, but I, I really do like the vintage toys and stuff. This is really, the most interesting of boxes here. So it just said Star Wars on the side, which, you know, Star Wars of the original trilogy and prequels are okay by me. So we're just gonna dig right in. What this Apple Watch? It's a Gen 2, and I gotta figure out how the heck to charge it, but if it works, I mean, I think just sitting loose like this would be worth like 60, 70 bucks if it doesn't for parts 20, uh, 20 to uh, 30 bucks. So I factored that in when I paid $49.99 for this uh, box here. And then you dump the Ewok bag here and it is all over the place. They're like so tiny. This is one of the little uh, micro machines guys. Uh, yeah, it's a, this is 90s, like these guys are 90s, these little Micro Machines guys. Probably a little bit of money here, but not much. And then this right here, Star Wars Keep, which they did not keep apparently. <laughs> and we ended up with four, the medical droid here from uh, Empire Strikes Back, Kenner. This is 
Boba Fett with missile? Is there anything, but I think it's a good one. We don't have any blasters that I can see so far, uh, but we do have this bag I didn't even see into, and it was called Star Wars Display. So we're seeing this together for the first time, and that's what oh. they're for the puts. What do you display with them? I don't know. And then we got more that uh, I haven't fully seen. So yeah, I thought this was the 90s speeder, which isn't too crazy. Uh, we've got one playset, the Stormtrooper Micro Machine. We've got another playset here, but it's like the Ewok one. Um, there's a bunch of cards. Do the little thingies in here go with this? Yes, uh, uh, some of them. Uh, we got the Star Wars cards here. I do remember the Star Wars TCG. And then we have Chaotic in here, which uh, I don't know too much about it, to be quite honest with you. We got another partial here. We've got another... This is 1980, and it looks like a... Um, snow pilot of some sort, I don't know. We got a little mini Rancor for the sets here, because, yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, overall, this one's a 96, so the 90s stuff, I mean, there are some things that are exceptions, but a lot of them just, you know, don't demand a lot of money. All Cincinnati Reds players. What do we have? I don't know if anybody... I know the only player in here, I hate to say it, is Adam Dunn that I even remember or recognize. And that probably makes me a bad Fairweather Cincinnati Reds fan. And yeah, that's basically the box, guys. So I don't know. I, I took a plunge. What do you guys think? I think between the Schleich, got the Kenner, more Kenner right here in the Iron Maiden that, uh, you know, we'll make our money back and we'll definitely make in the profit and all of that. So pretty cool, interesting stuff. Hey guys, so today's video was from some trips from a few months ago. So hopefully you enjoyed it. I've been waiting to share this one with you guys, but I knew it'd be a little bit shorter of a video. And at the time, I was really focused on making longer videos, but we're in the winter now, so I'm going to have to start mixing in some of these shorter thrift videos for you guys. I know some of you are probably pretty excited to see the thrift store videos return, and for those of you that are not that excited to see the thrift store videos return, don't worry. I still have some garage sale, estate sale content, as well as uh, some flea market content to mix in there for you guys, so... I know I do the thrift store videos a little bit differently with the voiceover. We're going to have a variety of content. We'll just leave it at that. We're going to have a variety of content for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. If you haven't already, check out the playlist. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.